start the game off with a game for all of our players. This is a game called Questions Only. Um, these, two, these guys are going to be playing a scene, but here's the trick. In their dialogue, they can only use questions. If they say anything that's not a question, I'm going to need you guys to yell out, DIE! And then they have to leave the stage and somebody else is going to stand up and take their place. And they'll go for a while. We'll see how long they can last. So first off, we need a scene for these guys. So we need a place where someone can get lost. Walmart. <laughs> we, got, all right, we got Walmart. Walmart is your guys' scene. Your scene is Walmart? Your scene is Walmart. Questions only. Actors, are you ready? And go. Where do I work again? <laughs> Would you believe Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're finished. Uh, <laughs> uh, who are you?
game called Alphabet. Now this is a game for two of our players. And uh, when they start this game, the first line of dialogue is going to begin with an A. And the next line will be B, and the next line will be C. And they're going to go all the way through the alphabet while... I know at least the first six. <laughs> ...while reenacting a pivotal moment in world history. So let's get that pivotal moment for you guys. What was the Gettysburg Address? Uh, <laughs> the invasion of Rome. Okay, we got please. I'll take please. Okay, you take some. Banana. Right, we got please. 
What was that? Banana. We got a banana. Who wants a banana? Huh? <laughs> Alright, let's get a let's get like an action verb or maybe an adjective. Stop. Other grammar things. Bum, bunk. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that enthusiasm, sir. What of you has got the funk? <laughs> so now that they've got their key words, what we're gonna need from you now is a place to put them in. I need the worst place that one of our audience members has ever worked. I have a Toys R Us. Free table. Free <laughs> table. All right, all right, call center. Call center. I heard the Toys R Us. I'm kind of yeah. liking that the most. Yeah, I like that. During Black Friday. I like the up the ante. We're doing Toys R Us on Black Friday. <laughs> oh great, another death scene. <laughs> Actors, are you ready? Yeah. And go! What, lady? You can't come in yet! But I'm ready! No! No, you can't! No, you can't come in. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to commend my children need toys! <laughs> Look, there's... I just, I can't do it. How... Is there anything maybe that you can... <clears throat> <laughs> I brought... I can give you a, a shopping bag. I brought a ton. Please. <laughs> One, two, three. What is this funky stuff on my bag? What am I? Oh, where did it What are you doing? You, you vandalizing the front of my store? There was some yucky stuff on my bag. I was just the ground. It was just trash. Please. That's not how we do things here at the TRU. Are you taking care of this lady? You're supposed to be watching the front here, Steve. Look, I was hungry. I had to go grab a banana or something. I was going to pass out. Listen, I got to get some more bags because these ones are not going to be enough, okay? Finally, she's leaving. I'm surprised she's the only one outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's March. <laughs> I ate the last one. Sorry. It was in the break room. It didn't have your name. She's back. All right. I have enough bags. Will you please let me in the store? Look, I'm going to go call security. Yeah. <laughs> you realize it's marked, right? I line up for this this early every year. I'm going to be the first one in the store. So please, just let me in the store. Yeah, but there's going to be new products. Like in six months? Yeah. Ben's not here today. <laughs> I know. He's like the muscle. The kid has like bunk for arms. <laughs> that was a thing. That was a thing. I'm going to go look at the profile on Facebook and see if you're right. I've got my list. If I give you my list, would you just take it and get me the stuff and then I'll give you the money? What's the first thing on the list? You're not going to believe this, but I need three talk me elbow things. You know, those things that talk to you for the elbow one? <laughs> and then I need six of, like, the oldest remote control cars you have. Do you want that with or without batteries? <laughs> can I get half with and half without? I can give you half that work and half that don't. <laughs> Can I get like one of your licenses or something? 
know, like you're, you're, you're a tea batch. You can have this one battery as proof. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> We are a shifty Toys R Us. <laughs> Just let me in the store. This would be so much easier. I've got a list. I've got my bags. I don't even look at me. You know what? It is half an hour past when we should have opened. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
没人去吧？Jerk. 
<laughs> church dance? I think that's a Dutch situation. <laughs> All right. We got church dance. Church dance. Church you dance. You bump into one another at a church dance. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 So they're in the same ward. So actors, actors, are you ready? Volunteers, are you ready? And go.
is a Spanish game called The Most Interesting Man. Now, anybody who's ever seen uh, those uh, Dos Equis commercials, you got the most interesting man. He doesn't normally do something, but when he does, it's interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> and that's what these guys are. These guys are all incredibly interesting. So uh, we're gonna need a uh, what is uh, what is something that you wouldn't normally do? Pick my nose. I don't normally pick my nose. I don't normally pick my nose. When I do, I find. <laughs> I don't normally pick my nose, but when I do, I go way up there. <laughs> I don't normally pick my nose, but when I do, it's delicious. <laughs> I don't normally pick my nose, but when I do, I pick one better than Michael Jackson picked. <laughs> Wake up on a Monday morning. I don't normally wake up on a Monday morning. I don't normally go wake up on a Monday morning. I don't normally wake up on a Monday morning. I just don't. At all. I don't normally wake up on a Monday morning, but when I do, it is the worst! <laughs> I don't normally wake up on a Monday morning, but when I do, I call in sick. <laughs> I don't usually wake up on a Monday morning, but when I do, I have a case of the Mondays. <laughs> I don't normally wake up on Monday mornings, but when I do, I change the world. Oh. I don't usually wake up on Monday morning, but instead of milk, I use scotch. <laughs> I don't normally wake up on Monday mornings, but when I do, I wish it were Fridays. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get him let's get him something ridiculous, something way out there. Slay dragon. I don't normally slay dragon. Oh, I thought it said slave a dragon. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> 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 I don't normally slay a dragon because I kill all of them already. <laughs> <laughs> They're not flying <laughs> <lying. laughs> I don't normally slay dragons, but when I do, you better believe it's better than Santa Claus's get up. <laughs> On! <laughs> I don't normally slay a dragon, but when I do, the princess is in another castle. <laughs> I don't usually slay a dragon, but when I do, I name him Gooey and I get him real good. <laughs> Astronaut. I'm not usually an astronaut because I 
I'm not usually an astronaut, but when I am, I like to pull pranks on the other astronauts and fart in their suits before they get in there. <laughs> go through in zero gravity, I'm curious now. Like a bullet! <laughs> I'm not usually an astronaut because I saw gravity and I'm not having Because I can't swim. I'm not usually an astronaut, but I'm sure as hell not going to be a medical examiner fixing the Hubble telescope. What's that about? Gravity. Nobody knows. Uh, I lied, I haven't seen gravity. <laughs> Mine. I just want to make comments on your guys' things. <laughs> I'm not usually an astronaut, but when I do, I ride a unicorn through space. Robot unicorn. Robot? No, I'm just saying. Oh. I'm trying to up the ante on me. I'm not usually an astronaut, but when I am, I ride space cowboys. <laughs> Jones, not Mel. <laughs> I'm not usually an astronaut, but when I take off my suit, baby, I will burn through your atmosphere. <laughs> and that is the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> Are, and the players can't say what it is. They have to only drop hints and clues. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Ian. He's our therapist. He's going to solve everybody's problems. <coughs> so, so many problems. So what we need from you guys is the problems that these guys have with one another. First off, Gavin here, he's got a really weird problem just unique to him. Yes, Gavin. You have a problem. <laughs> now, what is the craziest problem you've ever seen? I like hoarding, but let's get something specific. What is he hoarding? Yeah. 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 He's hoarding jello. <laughs> <laughs> you hoard jello. Yeah. 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 What is one of your absolute worst pet peeves? It's like grammar. Smacking lips. Blowing your nose in public. Not me. Eating yellow. Scratching your chalkboard. <laughs> what was that in the back? I can't hear people in the back. I like hearing them. Scratching the chalkboard. Is that is that getting me? True. Right, Melissa. Sure, that's fine. Melissa's always scratching yeah. chalkboards. Who doesn't like to do that? I mean, if we're really honest with ourselves. Now they each have their own individual problems, but they also have something that these two people they just cannot agree on something. What is one thing that they just do not agree on? It can be yes. It can be like. Battery versus sync. Oh. You cannot decide. <laughs> Which one do you, which, which one, which boy brand do you like? It's, it's a very important decision. Please, it is not. <laughs> it is simple and clear. And hey, I there we go. Justin Timberlake. Oh, 100%. So. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really into this discussion here. <laughs> Is that a question? I just. All right, so we um, review the problems. Clint, you're in. I, I for Jello. And Jell Melissa. And, and so you can Backstreet Boys, can't decide. So when the, when the therapist starts getting close to guessing it, you guys are going to have to snap it. Let him know you're close so you can get it. And uh, now it's called Ian, and so on the count of three, we're all going to shout Ian's name. So one, two, three. Ian's name! Nobody's laughing at you, all right, Gavin? And Nobody's go. laughing at you. Doesn't pay attention to anybody. Barbara. 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 Barbara.
Um, so I'm a muffin. Yeah. Yeah. Please have the bakery. Okay. Please have a seat. Um, I'm gonna. This is. This is kind of new for me. I've never really done it with patients. Uh, I had an online degree. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much I like this. Is this first time he's doing this? Come on. Well, it's fine. I'll be honest. I'm surprised we made it out of the house. He can't leave his favorite things behind. He's surrounded it. by it, and it's sticky. I take it. Yeah. Ugh, it's disgusting. Orange, okay. cherry, oh, the carrots, come on. That's <laughs> <laughs> my special, special treat. He went to Utah one day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm bored with him. him. I am bored with him. So, 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 I will walk. I'm bored with you. I, do you often do this yourself or at a, at a, like a makeup school? Or no, the ladies love this. We all get together. We have a little bit of tea. Some of the ladies eat some leftover jello. And they love it. They, they don't. Love it. They do whatever. I mean, at that point, they're probably, you know, uh, jello shots. It's probably, you know. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they're <laughs> like <laughs> We just scratch the walls. And it, it's, it's... It's a beautiful sound. It's darkness in my heart. <laughs> Every time I hear it, it's that dark and... I've been telling you, though, I've been wanting a little dog for how many years? And you know, every time my fingers go on the wall, four or five of them start coming. And I'm going to keep one of them one of these days. Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you upset? Obsessed with scratching your nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> Start the demo. We're going to start 
this is fun. So if you guys have anything kind of weird and cool in your car, go ahead and bring it in and we'll play our next game with them. See you the Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second half of And Go Improv Comedy. Please put your hands together for your host, Curtis Edwards. Yeah. Oh, no, he has great energy. Gavin should be doing this whole thing. So, I'm not going to waste a bunch of time. Let's get right into this. Let's get our performers out here. Come on. Pixie sticks gonna rock. <laughs> <laughs> 
Doctor, you are just as useless as the other doctor that we went to. <laughs> this, is our, this is our fifth one today! Uh, and I will not go any further! You should hoard children! <laughs> You're hoarding children? They soft like jello! <laughs> Alright, and that, that is the first perspective. So, uh, so now we're gonna pick, uh, pick one of the perspectives of one of these characters. Who do we want to see this scene? Whose perspective do we want to see this from? Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Did we call him Barbara? All right. You were the same character. <laughs> so now we're gonna see this entire scene from the perspective of Barbara. Actors, are you ready? And go. I'm so excited to have a baby, honey. I love you so much. <laughs> Sweet, sweet nectar from Utah, this place I love with That's all it. mine hearts. And it was, it was, I'm so glad it was your idea to bring us here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You are my, my angel. <laughs> I am so glad that I got you the child. <laughs>
audience members. Who wants to come up and play with us? Look the back. Come on. Who wants to play with us? Nobody wants to play with us. I'll go with you too. Come on up here. There's a floor. What are the audience members? Do you want? Zach. Yeah, Zach. I can do it. Zach and Allison. Now this is a game for two performers. It's a game called Claymation. Now our performers here, they cannot move on their own. They are like, they're like dolls, like action figures, like claymation figures. You, the audience members, have to move them. Now they can talk normally and they can prompt you to move them, or if you really want to mess them up, you can make them do something. It's all up to you guys. So what we need is something for these two guys. These are, what's something they all, what's something that you guys always dreamt of doing, like your life's ambition? That is a very high hope. Man. I can do it. I can, I'm like it. Climbing Everest. So, I see we already have started the visions. It's a disco at Mount Everest. Actors, are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Audience members, you ready? Yeah. And go. Catherine, I say we climb up there. <laughs>
just you know. Okay. Not, it's not my brand, but <laughs> <laughs> mine either, for the record. <laughs> I wouldn't touch the stuff. <laughs> Listen, you're gonna take me on this lovely vehicle of yours. For a ride. I'm very hungry and we need to hang, get somewhere. Hang, hang on. Is this going to take a little while because maybe we should just poke the cake stand down right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if, if you're trying to find some rain food because there's only two of us, there's just three of us here. And that's just, just too many. David? Well, ah. listen, just because this tandem bike doesn't, yeah. uh, three, doesn't mean that I'm not coming. And you both are coming too, because one of y'all is gonna, you know, call the cops or something. So. Yeah, we're well, definitely moving because you all have stolen our bike and one of us. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna need you both to pedal. No, you just need to be careful with that though, because I am deathly allergic to it, and it is peppery. <laughs> Oh, 
Come on, come on. The waffler. <laughs> the faux hawk. Not, not a real one. <laughs> Make up your Fictional own. superheroes. <laughs> Fictional. <laughs> Jello man. The faux hawk. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming back to the man. Man. Now, apathy man, he has to solve a world problem. What is a, what is a world problem? Um, you know, what is something that you guys use every day? Deodorant. Chapstick? Lip gloss? I'm getting like two oh. suggestions from like two people. Come on! There's a whole audience here! Shows! Oh, you guys, back corner. I'm, I'm engaging. Oh, <laughs> Two things. We got toothpaste? Shoelaces. Shoe, okay. You're throwing out stuff all the time. I want to tap people who have a quiet voice. Underwear. <laughs> okay. Ian. All Apathy, of the, man. Apathy, man. All of the underwear across the entire world has vanished. Everyone's going commando. So Apathy Man, he's going to have to face this problem, but he can't face it anymore. He's going to try his best to solve it, and somebody else is going to come on. And Apathy Man here is going to name the next superhero, and that superhero is going to name the next one. And hopefully, when we have three superheroes up here on stage, hopefully, they'll be able to solve all of the world's problems. So, Apathy Man, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. And go! <laughs> Snooze. <laughs> Snooze. <laughs> Well, that was a great afternoon. Oh, I don't want to get up. So stupid, it's Monday. <laughs> Come 
down, apathy man. All right, I will use my red rash powers to try and locate them. That's really, it's not a power, really. It's kind of a pain in my butt. Maybe, maybe if we amplify my apathy with your dirty, 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 dirty rash. It's not that dirty. Maybe two dirties, not three. I think we need to look in the mirror on the back end. Anyway. Okay. It's, it's leaking. Anyway, so. So let's just. Like maybe with my apathy powers, I can just like coat it over the you know atmosphere. Your why would I rashes? And then if we do that, maybe everybody will get rashes and they'll want to put their underpants back on. Deal. How do we stop that? I I don't know. Just aim and shoot, and I'll do something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe this car should be censored, and we should go to a time lapse. Time has passed. Well, well apathy man, that didn't work worth crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't think it was going to work anyway. Now everybody but has look, diaper rashes. Everybody? Even this guy over here? I have seen what you guys have done and it is terrible. Oh my goodness! It's creepy mustache man who drives around neighborhoods in an ice cream van! <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's right, I have seen what you have done. You're a good man, Apathy Man. I do at least one good thing a day. Now, I have seen two of them, and it is terribly disgusting. And it has not solved anybody's problems. If anything, it has made my problems go away. But that's not what we're here to do. We're here to solve the world's problem, because if those children have underwear, Nope, this is a terrible thing to do. You're going down the wrong road! This is a terrible thing. This whole audience has diaper rash. They're tired of this body humor. So, we need to fix that. Perhaps you could use... I would use my ice cream from my truck to soothe their burning bottle. Oh, that's a brilliant idea! A dreamy delight! Well then I will take up the sedative then. Alright. Very smart. Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh ah, yes. Apply it liberally. Or democratically or republicanly. <laughs> if it's an ice cream sandwich, just open it up. Then you got two. Share. Watch out for the sedatives. Whoa! <laughs> Anybody's birthday, no? It was the time, the best time of their lives started right then. Who's, who's had a really cool, interesting day for our anniversary? Yeah, any, any anniversaries? Anybody have like a really eventful day? John F. Kennedy. <laughs> 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 yeah, somebody from the audience, you know, somebody volunteer, somebody who has a massive, who has a cool day. You got a job? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a volunteer. So, uh, So, so what happened in, in your day? Where you got to talk. Never mind his mustache. So, like, the uh, very first thing in the morning, what did you do the first thing in the morning? I woke up. Guys, look at the crowd anchor. 
friend. I've got to go. Okay, bye. Don't ever use the phone! <laughs> I the phone is not for you! Come on! I just got braces that messed up! No! <laughs> you use the intercom! <laughs> Mr. Magnin, you're right here. What am I using it for? Look, I got you this other piece of bank metal. Oh, you know what? I'm going to ship these. Unless you want to. No, 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 no. Your Canadian Magneto will do this. <laughs> 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 Mr. Magneto's office. Oh, you want the one that looks like styrofoam with holes in it? Yeah, we'll send that right away. Oh, you'd have to make the labels first. Oh, right. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> you know what, Stephen in accounting is lame. So I am Stephen in accounting. Lame. Thank you. <laughs> I have bending metal with my lots of hair. Will you finish uh, bending this piece because I need to send it? <laughs> Speak to me, metal. <laughs> my hands, but, you know, sometimes it feels good to have the metal on your skin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, let me put the shirt back on. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> yeah, that label sticking to my chest. <laughs> okay, last of the work. All right, well, I think, I, I think, no, I think we're going to have a little ring cake. <laughs> you are now officially part of Magneto, and it's, oh no, it's, uh, yeah, my nemesis. I get my hot hot appointment. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, X? You did, not, you did not tell me he was coming. I did three times. <laughs> she did. I, I used the call button. That's why you yelled at yes, me. Yes, I, I read her mind. <laughs> 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 I don't like this situation at all. Um, the fact that you are sitting on a metal wheelchair <laughs> might change your mind to leave. All right, Mystique, stop fooling around. <laughs> <laughs> part of the mutant brotherhood Thank you. of Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? It's me. I just, I like to change periodically. I'm still a mistake. I'm still confused. <laughs>
some laughs along the way. Woo! <laughs> 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 got her cheeks. <laughs> Hopefully we've touched your heart and creeped you out a few times. <laughs> but our final game is a game for everybody, but we're going to start off with just two of you. This is a game called Freeze. Now the way Freeze works is these guys are going to be playing around, doing their thing, being fun. But then in the middle of whatever they're doing, somebody, you know, one of the other performers can yell out, Freeze! <laughs> and they have to stop in whatever physical position they are. They get tapped out, somebody comes in, and they start a whole brand new scene. We're just going to go and go and go. So um, we need something to start these guys off on. So uh, what is something that is physically exhausting? By running and walking around the zoo. You guys are running around the zoo. All right. Actors, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. And go. Oh. We shouldn't have come to that vacation. <laughs> I mean, it sounded like a really weird idea. They look really fuzzy. I like fuzzy. Hey, hey. Freeze. 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 They won't see us. And we won't have to continue building this Chinese wall <laughs> if you don't move. Sorry, if, is it is there a condition based on movement like time and transition? <laughs> I have not figured that out yet. Freeze! I have not figured this out yet. I, I mean, the Hunger Games are bad enough, but I don't know how to use this stupid nunchuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gail. <laughs> Dead meat in here. It's fine. They're not going to kill you. You're too cute. <laughs> well, I do kind of look like a mighty ass god. <laughs> <laughs> but not quite. So you're saying you've got a brother? <laughs> uh, <messed> up. <laughs> Maybe he is. Maybe he's here. Maybe he's painted moss on himself and he's hiding over there. Dad, freeze. <laughs> Come on, Fluffy. Come on. No, 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 no. Are you going to poo poo? <laughs> Jared, Fluffy's dead. <laughs> I mean, we, you've been tugging him for three blocks, and he has not walked once. <laughs> Sally, I don't think you're right. No. He looks very alive to me. Look at his eyes. They just, they, they call. They have fallen out. <laughs> <laughs> that may have happened back a block or two. I thought he was just like trying he's, to take in the sights and leave an eyeball behind.
your seats on the tracks train. You're <laughs> like standing right next to me with the worst VO <laughs> in the entirety of my life. You're no spring chicken, halitosis. <laughs> Look, which stop's yours? You're not going all the way to the university, are you? And I want two million for it. <laughs> I do enjoy the fact that it's only one floor and the bottom is a bleeding cesspool of spiders. <laughs> and, uh, no, no. And black mold. Black mold, yes. I mean, I love that it's crawling up. It's almost to the ceiling. Wonderful. That's right. Yes, in fact, with this beautiful home you'll see here, <coughs> it comes with dead cats in the attic. Oh, yes, yes, that's, yes. That's that wonderful aroma. I thought it was clean. Yes, and also, Buffy <laughs> from the first scene is in there. I don't know how he got there, but he is. Freeze. I don't know how he got there, but he is. How long you've been a doctor, you know, birth and babies. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what can I say? I touch people and they become pregnant. I it's see kind you of back. damaging to my personal life. <laughs> <laughs> can you please put a shirt on? I can't. <laughs> oh, let me turn off the fan as well. <laughs> Very dizzy now. <laughs> yes, I, I was wondering if, if you wanted to stay with me indefinitely. And continually have babies. <laughs> <laughs> any time, any time I touch you, it's gonna happen. You know, now that I've been thinking about it. <laughs> Seriously, like a freight train. Thank you. Barbara, I got my nails done. I'm so ready for the party. Shut up. Oh, you got the diamonds like I like. Yeah. I got baby <gasps> blue only on this finger, oh like the God. style says. I wish I had thought of that before I went. It's amazing what Janice can do on 33rd Street. She is amazing. And she put like sparkles right in the argyle print. Right there, right uh, on the digit. Now, bending metal is not that. <laughs> you just 
you use your mind. I mean, really, how hard can it be? Mr. Magneto, the problem is I, 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 I don't have that power. That ability is not mine to possess. I literally... Literally and figuratively and relatively, I can't do this. I, I thought you were like a label master mutant, but you're human. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sworn to uh, kill you. Human is a loose term. If I is say it? muggle, does that make me look better? <laughs> <laughs>